Hi guys, it's LaShonda Henry here from Black Business Women Online at the BE Women of Power Summit. Right now I'm talking to Valerie Burton, life coach, asking a couple of questions about how she can help you in your journey into entrepreneurship. So I know a lot of the entrepreneurs, especially on BBWO and on the topic of what's holding them back, they might feel sometimes it's finances or lack of support. But what I loved about your session is sometimes it's just things that are in our head. And I noticed when you talked about something that I thought was really refreshing, positive psychology and finding out what's right with you. So I kind of wanted you to touch base on that because that was your, this is where you should start. Yeah, so positive psychology is really the study of what makes people happier, more resilient, what makes you tap into your strength. And so, you know, traditional psychology tends to be about fixing problems, what's wrong with people. And that, that has its place, it's very important. But it, psychology should also be about how do you succeed? You know, how do you bounce back? You started your business, things didn't, your plan didn't come together as quickly as you thought. Are you going to give up or are you going to get up? You know, and so it's really, um, for me, been a passion of mine studying positive psychology. I went back to graduate school to study it and helping people um, find a practical way to apply it in their lives and in their businesses. And on the topic of practicality, and you were talking about finding your strengths. Yes. Can you just shed some light on that, and especially some of the resources you mentioned? Yeah, we, we all have strengths, and sometimes our strengths are so natural to us that we don't even notice them. We don't even really value them because we feel like, well, anybody could do this. Well, no. There are things you do very easily that other people don't do so easily. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be that person that solves problems very, very easily. You may be the person that just very naturally connects with people. You may be a great influencer. Whatever it is for you... There are strengths that you need to learn to tap into and to focus more on those to solve your problems than you do on fixing your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of resources for um, discovering your strengths. One is called the VIA um, Character Strength Survey, and VIA is Values in Action Classification of Strengths. Go out to the website Authentic happiness.com. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the University of Pennsylvania website and you can um, take an assessment. It's the VIA. Take you about 40 minutes and it will give you back your top five signature strengths, which I think is really powerful. It's free. You give them an email address and, a, and you come up with a password, but it's free. Okay. About two million people around the world have taken this survey in over 100 countries. Um, and then the other is one developed by Gallup called the Strengths Finder. Okay. And there's a book called Strengths Finder 2.0 that I found very helpful by Tom Rath. He's a fellow graduate of the positive psychology program at Penn and um, that one when you buy the book will give you a code you can go online and the strengths finder is more about what you do well mm -hmm. the V is more about who you are okay yeah and can you talk about your book and the seven principles that you're, you've shared sure what's really holding you back was my third book um, and it's the one that's been the best seller I believe because everybody knows that there's something, some way that they've been stuck. Maybe you do great in your career, but not so great in your relationships. Maybe you feel held back in your finances, but not when it comes to working out. So everybody can relate to having a fear in some area. So what's really holding you back, for me, um, when I began really peeling back the layers, because mm -hmm. we all have our excuses. That's, it's not called what's holding you back, because pe when you say what's holding me back, oh, it's, I don't have enough time, oh, if only I had the money, well, if right. only I had the mentor, if only I had... And the if onlys is what kills it. Right. You can stay stuck because those are all excuses. Mm -hmm. When I ask what's really holding you back, then we get to the depth. What is your fear really? When I looked at mine and I started peeling back the layers, mm -hmm. I realized my fear was rejection. Now, I've been in business for myself since 1997. My first and only job, um, I was in marketing, got promoted to marketing director in an accounting firm. And I was there less than two years when I launched my business. I was 24 Wow! when I did that. Was I afraid? Yeah. Did I think maybe I'm crazy? Maybe I'm too young? Maybe, you know, I haven't been at it long enough? Yeah, but I had the opportunity and I wanted to just go for it. But my fear was always, and it, it's still something I gradually get over. I'm way beyond where I used to be. But yeah. whatever fear you have, at whatever level you are, you still have to fight your way through that fear. Mine was rejection. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I keep it small enough, I don't have to ask for help. You can't reject me. I had to recognize that mm. so that I would intentionally look at my fear right in the face and do, right. the, do those things as a business owner that you have to do. Mm. Right. Calling people. Mar you know, I was, a, I was great at marketing, not so much at selling. Marketing attracts you to me. Right. Right? Right. <laughs> selling, I've got to go to you. There's right. a really big difference. There is a big so, difference. So, you know, you've got to know what yours is. For some, it's fear of success because when you succeed, people expect you to keep succeeding. 
a lot of pressure. Right. Right? The expectations right. go up. The responsibility goes up. Of course, fear of failure. Um, fear of not being good enough is mm -hmm. a big one. I talked in the session about the imposter syndrome that a lot of people experience, especially if you didn't grow up in the, in the best of circumstances and suddenly you find yourself being very successful. Yeah. You know, so that's men and women, but women suffer from it more and black women more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, in that they, they sometimes feel like they're an imposter, like other people are going to find out they're not quite as great as the people thought they were. And um, we have to get past that. Absolutely. We have to make a decision. Not only am I good enough, I'm more than good enough. I can do this. I may make mistakes, but failing won't make me a failure. Right. Failing is something I can learn from mm -hmm. to propel my business forward, to move my life forward. Now, I definitely want people to take advantage of your books because I think it's not just supposed to be about ideals, but as you mentioned, being practical. And I think in the seven principles you talked about, they were very practical. Mm -hmm. Now, on my circle, Black Business Women Online, there are a lot of women entrepreneurs, specifically life coaches. Mm -hmm. And I was curious about you as a life coach, your online presence. Mm -hmm. How do you develop that and what have you done? Well, um, in 2010, um, we launched a new business, the CAP Institute, which stands for Coaching and Positive Psychology. Okay. We do training within corporations and, and government organizations, but we also do coach training, which we've recently started. We have a coach training coming up in, um, in May of 2011 um, uh, in Washington, D.C. So if you go to capinstitute.com, it's C-A-P-P institute.com, you can find out more about that. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's been over time. I mean, way back in the day when I started my newsletter, you know, that was the, there was no Twitter. There was no Facebook. Right, right. I mean, people hardly even did e-newsletters. That was almost going on 10 years ago. Uh, you know, that builds over time. But I have found that social media in particular, I love because of the instant feedback. Right. Because your readers can actually be talking to you live. They can, you know, you can respond directly to them. It's just... I think it's a wonderful way for people to be able to access very easily mm -hmm. the people that they that, that have impacted their lives or the products that have impacted them. Right. You know, we feel like we have much more of a voice, I think, because of social media. Absolutely. And so other people can connect with you. Can you share the social mediums that you are on? Yeah, so twitter.com forward slash Valerie Burton. And my name, Valerie, is mm -hmm. spelled like Valor. Valerie means strength and valor, so it's V-A-L-O-R-I-E-B-U-R-T-O-N. Okay. Um, my Facebook fan page is facebook.com slash Valerie Burton fan page. Okay. And if they want to friend me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Valerie Burton. Perfect. And the official website? ValerieBurton.com is my personal website, and my company website is CAP, C-A-P-P Institute.com. Last but not least, you talked about your third book, but what's your latest book? Okay, so my, well, my last book was How Did I Get So Busy? But my new book, which will be released in June of 2011, is called Where Will You Go From Here? Mm. Moving Forward When Life Doesn't Go As Planned. Okay. And it's all about being resilient in the face of your setbacks. And there are times in your life where you feel like you just landed in a ditch. Mm. I mean, you're going along your path and you just get sideswiped into that ditch. And you wake up and you wonder, where will I go from here? Will I try to get back onto my path? Will I have to forge a new path? Right. So whether that's, you know, you've been laid off, something happened with your business, your finances, relationships, relationship, your health, how do you muster up that courage right. sometimes to start over, mm -hmm. forge a new path, or to get back onto the path that, that you may have been on. It's really all about resilience and bouncing back. Wow. Awesome. We all have setbacks. Absolutely. The, the key is being able to make our comeback. Exactly. Exactly. It's not what happens, but what you do with that. That's right. Absolutely okay. right. Well, thank you so much, Valerie, for taking the time to do this interview. Thank you. My pleasure.